Hi, I'm Maggie Corbett and welcome to The Club. Today, I got to speak with the Residence Hall Association here at Georgia Tech. RHA is the second largest club on campus with over 8,800 members. Take a look at what a typical meeting is like. All right, placards down. All those opposed? And all those abstaining. With a vote of 25 to zero to zero, this bill passes. I got to speak with Jordan Baxter, the Director of External Relations for RHA, about the many ways this club is improving residents' life at Tech. RHA stands for the Residence Hall Association. We're the second largest organization on campus. There are about 8,800 residents on campus right now. And our goal is to connect each individual resident with, um, to help them fulfill a special need. So whether that's connecting them with the Director of Residence Life or even the Assistant Vice President of Housing, um, we want to make sure that their voice gets heard. If there's a problem, then we can help solve that, um, improve the, the overall quality of residence life here at Georgia Tech. RHA is divided into three branches. We have the executive branch, which is what I am part of. Um, that's where our president and our five directors are. Um, we also have our executive cabinet, so they do more of our smaller tasks, such as um, auditing our finances. Um, they, some are in charge of our PR, um, making sure that we get our name out there. Um, we also have our legislative branch. That's the biggest one. Every resident is part of our legislative branch, whether that's through their hall council. And so that's every resident in their area can attend a, a weekly meeting for them to vote on bills and discuss how they can improve their, their resident's life in their area. We also have a judicial branch, and a lot of people don't know a lot about our judicial branch. However, if there's an issue in the residence hall, you can choose to have a trial by the hall director or a trial by peers. We host the trial by peers. We have a um, a chief justice as well as a um, couple of justices that serve on that board. Um, they serve on the conduct board and they can decide what, um, what actions need to be taken if there is a judiciary incident. RHA, we aim to host three events per semester. Um, sometimes we do more. Um, this year we've had our welcome week which has been a huge success. We've done, we did five events in the first week. Um, it was a lot of work to do, but we made sure that we did different events that catered to kind of each resident. Um, we had a resident meet and greet, we had a scavenger hunt, we did roller skating uh, and trivia night and a couple others. Um, we are also planning on doing putting the thanks in Thanksgiving, which is an event that we do every year um, where we kind of, we set up by the Campanile and we tell people a little bit about RHA as well as um, have them write cards or they can mail it off if they want to. Each hall council can choose if they want to table at this event, and they have an activity as well. So it's kind of like a, a mass tabling event. Uh, and then the next semester, we have our big GTU night event, which is held by Savannah Horner, our director of member engagement. And this is a way to kind of celebrate Diversity and Inclusivity Month, which is the month of, of March. And this event is to kind of show the cu cultural diversity we have on campus at Georgia Tech. I joined RHA because, um, first off, I wanted to grow as a leader myself, and again, that Grow Lead Unite really spoke to me. Um, our current president was the one who talked me into it my freshman year uh, at First Friday, which was an event just after move-in, um, and I decided to run for Hall Council, kind of give it a shot. Uh, I served as the Communications Chair for Towers Hanson Hall Council, and I think watching our miniature Hall Council Executive Board really bond. Um, and kind of working together as a team to win Hall Council of the Year. Um, I think just that development over time is like five strangers have to come together and work on a team. It's kind of like a reality show. Really getting a chance to uh, develop that relationship was really cool and hoisting the trophy at the end just made it show how worth it it was to put effort towards Hall Council. Um, getting involved in, in RHA means going to Hall Council meetings. Hall Council meetings do not take long at all, and it's a really good way to show the voice of a resident, and if a resident really wants to get you know, involved in, on campus, they should talk to RHA and get involved in Hall Council, whether that is becoming a voting member or working with the executive board. Um, anyone can get involved, it's just finding that opportunity. Thank you, Jordan, for taking the time to speak with us today. For more information about RHA, you can visit their website. I'm Maggie Corbett, and we'll see you here next time on The Club.